against the turquoise twilight as the sunrise leaves behind the darkness of space. Silent and golden, the rising sun fills the new summer day. May I, in a fullness of silence, a silence that leaves no room for fear, be one with you. Suzanne Jackson, and I have been a longtime student of Christine's and a longtime member of Temenos. And I, I really feel like this place and uh, the, the sacred land, uh, Temenos, it means grove of trees, sacred grove of trees, um, has fostered me, has been a mother to me in my quest for discovery of the soul discovery of nature, and discovery of my true purpose on this planet. So I'm really honored to be here to share this service with you today. Um, I wanted to bring in poetry um, from Christine's books that she has. I wanted to bring in some of her poems because, you know, for the past 10 years, I spent Earth Day with her guiding uh, me through nature studies, and uh, I just really feel like an honoring is happening today. So, close your eyes, please. Bow your heads. Let's begin with the Holy Scripture, Psalm 96, 11 and 12. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. So we'll begin by turn, turn, turn. How fitting for the seasons. Oh 
the words of Thomas More. On this Earth Day, remember that our planet is not just a physical thing, but a living organism with a soul that we share individually. This is the ancient tradition of anima mundi. We need to protect this sensitive being, which Renaissance philosophers referred to as an animal, not just for physical resources, but for its spirituality, soul, and even a kind of personality. You have to look in a certain way to see how it expresses itself and can be an object of friendship and love. So I love that thought of the earth as a soul and has a soul, and we're sharing it all individually because we each have a soul, and that is our infinite, that is the undying. And um, the earth is undying, and we need to take care of her. So I love that we have an Earth Day kind of great, and uh, Gaylord Nelson was the founder of Earth Day, and these are his words. Our goal is not just an environment of clean air and water and scenic beauty. The objective is an environment of decency, quality, and mutual respect for all other living creatures. So just as he says, we have the beauty around us, but we have the beauty within. So each person on this earth is creating beauty and adding through the energy of our feet to the beauty and the soul of the earth. So I just feel like if everybody felt that way and learned that lesson that we're just a greater part of every connection of us, that all these things would happen. An environment of clean air and water and scenic beauty and decency, quality, and mutual respect for all other living creatures. And I really think that that's what we do at Temenos. We respect all paths. Our goal is love and care and concern. And activism, may I say, Christine taught us each week. So gentle, gentle activism for kindness and betterment of the earth. So let's sing another beautiful song, Ancient Mother. Why don't we stand for this one? greatest teacher is nature. And um, I wanted to read a poem that Christine wrote on uh, December 20th of this year. And um, it truly shows her connection to nature. And the goal for me is to emulate that deep and sacred connection. brilliance 
on frosty lake. Smoke rises from desert sage. On eastern shore, I look as sun sets in deepest red tears, born of sorrow, mixed in joy. Singing, honoring all the gifts. And so this year, I stand in prayer. I stand in witness for all beings who are not so blessed in a year of wanton chaos. I let this year go with utmost humility. With love so deep, I empty of all need to know. In crystal silence, my heart sounds, stirs deep in my being. I open, quiet my mind, still my being. Listen, listen, listen. The Holy of Holies speaks so quietly, so very gently on golden whispers. Twilight falls as exquisite night brings new dreams, new visions, new ways to be. Light shines down from stars above. All goes on and on and on. Always in all ways. If we can learn how to be in nature and how to let and allow the nature to bring forth these thoughts, to bring forth this kind of conscious living, that is a true gift to be able to live your life with communion. And she closes a word from, for all of us. In your companionship with love divine, deep, deep peace to my dearest of all. May this new year bring you and yours the song of love, the song of peace, the song of joy, the song of grace. May you be blessed now, ten times ten, your life well lived. Good tidings, friend. Love we truly are. Christine. Closing your eyes, breathing that in. Feeling all these elements with our five senses as we gather on this land. The wind is blowing. Birds are singing, flowers blooming color. So, from her words, listen, listen, listen. And I add, breathe, breathe, breathe. So feet firmly planted on the earth. And bringing your right hand and your left like this on your lap. And begin to breathe in through the nose. And feel the cool air coming in. And as you exhale, feel it coming out warm. way to get to know our soul. The breath is the voice of the soul, and silence is its keeper. Just keep bringing it back through the 
breath. messages that I've received from nature and I know every single person here most likely if you're here right now today or watching has received these beautiful messages and I'm not talking about being the type of person you know that every spider they see every ant they see they go to a book and they look what does that mean you know um, it's bringing that knowledge within yourself because your relationship with nature is individually yours it's not anyone else's and relationships i mean really what what other gifts on earth are the things that bring us joy 
relationships with people, relationships with living things. So uh, just this past week, uh, Luke and I had an experience in the woods. And what happened was I was in the kitchen doing dishes and he comes running in, mom, mom, come out into the woods. We have some common ground behind our house. And so I ran out because I didn't want to miss it. And there was a teeny weeny little turtle, little. I've never seen any turtle so little before um, in the wild. And um, I thought it was a snapping turtle. But later we found out it was a painted turtle. So we got his camera to capture the moment. And um, as the day went on, uh, Luke came in and he said, Mom, you know, this is what this turtle taught me. This is what this turtle meant to me. And I don't know if it's okay to share that, because I won't <laughs> if it's not okay. But you know, he said, is it okay? Awesome. You can share if you want. <laughs> um, he said this little turtle worked so hard. <laughs> you should have seen the grasses all around it. This little turtle worked so hard. And you know what? I'm going to work harder. I'm going to do better. And you're doing great as it is. <laughs> but that's what the message was. And then I remembered. Christine, and I knew the reason that he said that and immediately brought what that turtle taught to a 17-year-old boy was because that's what Christine taught me, and I shared that with my son, and now he has that for the rest of his life. So, again, you know, I kind of went, well, what does that turtle mean to me? You know, and to me, it, it was a baby. And I feel like I'm a baby in this new world of pandemic, post-pandemic, world of masks, world of division, world of tribalism. I'm a baby in that. I'm also a baby without Christine, you know, there to kind of mother me through these steps that I take. And I also thought of Christine as a little baby on her new path in which she is working, we know, so hard. So I, you know, teach and I cook dinner and I do my thing and with my family. And then I talked to my best friend that night. I have a, a dear friend I talk with almost every day and I shared that experience with her. And um, my husband, Bob, who told me during the day, that's not a snapper, that's a painted turtle. Well, flashback, probably eight years, Christine taught us all about the sit spot. It's a place where you go in nature, and that becomes your spot to connect. And, you know, she had one sermon, you know, sit there for 20 minutes every day for 40 days. You know, and I tried my best to do that. So I go to my sit spot one day, and there is a big painted turtle in my sit spot. This is eight years ago. Um, so, of course, what does eight years younger Suzanne do? She calls Christine. <laughs> Christine, there's a big turtle in my sit spot. What does that mean? What book should I read to figure out what that means? Should I go to animal speech? I, you know, I guess I'm a, I'm a just a learner. I love school, I learn, I'll probably be a hundred and just, I want to learn more. Um, and you know what she said. <laughs> she said, Suzanne, you don't need to go to a book. You don't need to go to me. You ask your dear self. You ask the turtle what she means to you. So you can imagine when I finally, you know, a little dense sometimes, a little, <laughs> um, don't get it all at once, but that's a good thing. When I finally realized that night that that little baby turtle wasn't a snapper, 
it was a baby of the pain it turned on that I really feel like was my first nature lesson, my first true connection with that teacher that surrounds me. So I know you all have stories and you know, there really are food, there really are medicine, especially times like this. This has not been easy. And you know, there's a, there's a huge list I'm sure every person has, but let's make a list with nature and the things that we're learning. Let's make a list with relationships and the things that we're learning to bring in the good, to bring in that beauty and that decency and that love. Let us pray. Whose woods these are, we think we know. Yet know we not, for these woods belong to all. Every race, every creed, these woods belong to all. Their tracks cover every inch of melting snow. Sun is setting, birds are singing. Fragrance of pines penetrate the sweet air. My soul awakes and sings to ancient splendor. Ever now, ever before, ever, ever more. Amen. trees. We are all in partnership with nature. A wise teacher, who you know, <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, said to me once, when you become friends with the trees, you are never alone. So after this song or during the song, I'd like you to go out, find a tree, a plant, whatever leads you. And I want you to just connect, breathe with it, feel your feet on the earth, and just enjoy that sacred communion. Um, in the Christian church, we have communion with the bread and the wine. Well, today we're going to have communion in a different way with nature. And then I will call you back A meditation song when breathing. When I breathe in, I'll breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I'll breathe out loud. When I breathe in,
All the love you see, it is you and me. Mother, who art the earth, hallowed be thy soil, rocks and flora that nourish and support all life. Blessed be thy wind that gives us breath, and thy, wa and thy waters that quench, bathe, and refresh all living things. Holy earth, as one, we praise your majesty, grace, and wonder. prayer that our brother Jesus taught us. Our 
Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So I encourage you this day to go out this day and every day and just cultivate that relationship with your own dear soul and the dear soul of the earth. Please stand for the benediction. For those who walked with us, this is a prayer. For those who have gone ahead, this is a blessing. For those who touched and tended us, who lingered with us while they lived, this is a thanksgiving. For those who journey still with us in the shadows of awareness, in the crevices of the memory, in the landscape of our dreams, this is a benediction. Amen. Go in peace and go and walk in beauty. I hope. Thank you. <laughs> Oh